And what's going on, Read My Lips people? We are back. And, whew, oh boy, do I got a lot of news for you guys. Big week. This is a big week for Read My Lips. This is a big week for Bernie Sanders. This is a big week for Andrew Yang and the Yang Gang. This is a big week for politics. Let me tell you. So, first things first, depending on when you're watching this video, either the debates, the fourth debate is about to happen, or the fourth debate has happened. So, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, Andrew Yang nailed it. I'm also going to go out on a limb here and say, Bernie Sanders nailed it. So, hear me now, quote me later, Um, that is my prediction, Andrew Yang and Bernie Sanders did a hell of a job. Um, and, uh, Tulsi Gabbard came and showed out again. This is, I'm making this video before the debate. Okay. That is my prediction. Andrew Yang, Bernie Sanders nailed it. Tulsi Gabbard showed out. Um, so everybody's excited for this fourth debate. It's like the WWE of politics. You feel what I'm saying? Um, So I know my eyes are going to be glued to that screen. Um, Besides that, Read My Lips News and Politics has some pretty big news coming up. Um, If you've been following me for a while, you know I support the Yang Gang. I love what you guys are doing. And uh, I asked you guys to look out for me. I asked you guys to reach out for me. And you did. You did. You put in the work. And because of that, I will, this Thursday, I will be uh, having an interview with Russell from Grassroots Hashtag Yang Gang. That's going to take place this Thursday, and I'm sure the video of that interview um, will be uploaded very soon afterwards, if not that day, the day after. Um, so yeah, you guys helped make it happen. You guys reached out, um, you connected us and, uh, I'm going to be having a chat with, uh, Russell from grassroots Yang gang. Um, I've talked to him a little bit already. Really good guy. Um, and I support what he's doing. Be on the lookout for that. It's good. It's going to be pretty exciting. Um, but now to the main topic of this video. I, if you paid any attention to the thumbnail, you'll see it says, why I'll defeat Trump. So this isn't even about policy. We know Yang gives him that work as far as policy goes. Trump can't beat Yang as far as policy goes. He doesn't He doesn't have the numbers to crunch. He is your, ironically, when it comes to policy, a typical Republican politician, Right? Yang trumps him, no pun intended, in all those areas as far as substance goes. But this video is about a different area that a lot of the Democratic nominees don't actually have. Okay? Yang has it. Stage presence, off-the-cuffness, and populism rhetoric. Authentic populism rhetoric CBS this morning um, did a little segment on Andrew Yang I'm not going to play the entire video I'll probably chop it up Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go and watch the actual video or the entire video rather but what I want you to pay attention to in this clip in this video is Andrew Yang swag, the way he carries himself, the way he talks to the people, right? He even uses some expletives a little bit. It's like, oh, okay. Remember I said Andrew Yang got soul. He got some soul, right? And you can see it in the way he carries himself and the way he talks to people, okay? So I'm going to play this clip, pay, pay really close attention to it, and then we're going to come back. In a park in L.A. last month, thousands gathered to hear the Democrat perhaps least likely to be running for president. And I am the ideal candidate for that job because the opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes math. 
In Andrew Yang's world, math stands for Make America Think Harder. And Yang is mostly thinking about dire economic times ahead. He's on message, if sometimes off color. That's right, I did some math. We have to be pretty stupid to let a trillion dollar tech company pay nothing in taxes. Am I right, Los Angeles? For a first time politician, Yang is doing surprisingly well. Polls put him in single digits. But in the last three months, Yang picked up $10 million in donations. That's less than half of what the front runners took in, but it puts him solidly in the middle of the pack. His supporters are known as the Yang Gang. He's all about humanity first. He's not really a politician. And I'm barely a politician! Here with you tonight, one of only two candidates in the field that 10% or more of Donald Trump voters say they will support. Which means that when I am the nominee, we win the whole thing. But he's not lacking in confidence. Andrew Yang says he's done the math. It's like a game of rock, paper, scissors. And if Donald Trump's the scissors, I'm the rock. So, um, look, we know Andrew Yang's a smart guy, right? We know he can crunch the numbers and that policy substance is a go for Andrew Yang. But one thing that Donald Trump has that a lot of the other candidates does don't have is the way he carries himself on that stage. He's got stage presence. He can appeal to a crowd, right? He is really good off the cuff. Okay, I always said, look, I I wasn't voting for Donald Trump. I didn't want Donald Trump to win. But damn, was he entertaining. And still is. He says some horrendous things. He says some stupid things. But he's entertaining. He can play to a crowd. He is good off the cuff, let me tell you. And when you think about it, if you were to put a Joe Biden in front of Donald Trump on the same stage... Trump would obliterate him. Joe Biden wouldn't stand a chance. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have that it factor. Right? He He's too atypical politician. You take Elizabeth Warren. She's got some gusto to her. But not enough to overshadow Trump's. She just doesn't have that. She doesn't have it. She still smells like an atypical politician. Okay, Cory Booker, he'd get decimated. Pete Booty Judge, he'd get decimated. They're, they don't have it. They don't have it. Trump is really good on stage. He's really good playing to a crowd, right? He's really quick off the cuff. But you know who else is really good at playing to a crowd? Who's really good off the cuff? Andrew Yang. Like, he really, really, really vibes with people. People hear Andrew Yang talk. People go to Andrew Yang events. People uh, listen to Andrew Yang. And they're like, yo, I really fucks with this dude. Like, he doesn't come off as an atypical politician. He's not an atypical politician. Right? He's not. He says it himself. He really isn't. And you feel a sense of security with him. Because we've been getting screwed by politicians for so long. And then an Andrew Yang comes around and you're like, yo, he's fucking different. Right? And he is. He is. He's not just putting on that front that he is like Donald Trump did. Donald Trump ran as a populist. Donald Trump ran as a populist. But he didn't govern as one. Okay? Andrew Yang will. He's authentic. What you see is what you get. I feel like... On stage against Donald Trump, uh, Andrew Yang would have the quick wittedness. He'd have the off the cuff remarks. He's not afraid to curse. Listen, when he curse, when he curses, it's natural. It's just like me. I'll go, I'll go into a video, and I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna curse. And by the end of the video, <laughs> I've cursed. Andrew Yang, when he went on stage and he, when he's talking to the people, it's just natural. It's not forced. It's not like Beto O'Rourke, where like. Him and his team strategized it like, hey, I noticed that when I curse, 
people respond better. Let's implement this cursing thing. Let's give that a shot. No, no, no. And that's why I dropped this video, right? It's kind of lighthearted. It doesn't delve deep into poli to policy substance, but what it talks about is the person's demeanor. This, this video is focusing on Andrew Yang's demeanor and how he carries himself and how he presents himself and how people react to him. And I think um, he plays off a crowd really well and people are comfortable and they vibe with him, right? And that that's big, that's big because don't get it, don't get it twisted. Elizabeth Warren has holes in her policy. Elizabeth Warren does not have the greatest policies. There's holes in them. You can deconstruct them and you can see what it's really about. It's still better than Donald Trump's. If you were to look at just policy substance and overall, yes, Elizabeth Warren is a better option than Donald Trump. But when she gets on that stage, if she gets to the general, I feel like, I know this is Columbus Day, I feel like he would Pocahontas her to fucking death, right? This guy's really good at coming up with names. Like I, I, I can't even fucking lie. Um, they, they're catchy as shit. So I don't know, man. I just I don't feel there's a lot of candidates that are running that can hold their own on stage against the Orange Man. I don't see it. I really don't. Andrew Yang can. Hell. I, I think Bernie could, but not as good as Yang. I honestly feel wholeheartedly that Yang would hold himself better in a debate against Donald Trump than even Bernie would. Um, because especially now with the heart heart attack he's had, Trump can attack him on so many things and make him clever. He'd make it clever, right? Because um, he, he doesn't have anything else clever about him. But he can make the name calling clever and the debates clever and he can... He can skew things in his favor very easily. So again, I think Bernie demolishes Trump policy substance, but it would still be a difficult task on that debate stage. Okay? Um, Andrew Yang would hold himself really well. He's young, he's vibrant, it'd be it'd be easy. He'd bounce off of him like Superman, throw an S on Yang's chest. No problem. So that's what this uh, that's what this video was about. I think CBS uh, in the morning did a really good job um, summing up uh, rather quickly about what Yang was about. And um, you know, the more publicity he gets, the better. People will hear about him, and people will know about him. And I guarantee, the more people that hear about Andrew Yang, the bigger Yang Gang's gonna get. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I know we got. The, the debate coming and I'll be covering that um, making you know two or three videos probably off of the debate um, and it should be interesting big week big week we got the debate coming and then this Thursday we have me and Russell um, chatting away chatting away it should be good stay tuned um if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I also have a PayPal and a Venmo uh, in the description in case you want to donate to read my lips and help my channel grow. Every little bit helps. Hopefully, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace.